channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day as usual. Today's video is going to be a one year review and what fits in my Chanel while on a chain. I purchased this baby about a year ago and I have been using it nonstop ever since. So today I want to give you my one year review. I'm also going to show you what I normally carry in it and I'm also going to show you what fits, not just what I carry, but also what fits just in the event you don't have the same items that I do. That way you can kind of see what fits in this item. I'm going to take the wear and tear. I'm going to show you how to wear it. We are going to cover this whole entire baby in today's video. So without further ado, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And if you want to hear all about the Chanel wallet on a chain, then keep watching. Okay. So I purchased the Chanel wallet on a chain in the cat, beautiful caviar leather about a year ago. And I was so excited to get this. And I went back and forth as to whether or not to get lambskin or caviar. The reason I settled on the caviar and the reason I would recommend getting the wallet on a chain in the caviar is the following one I already have the Chanel medium size flat classic flap in the lambskin which has been great and I do wear that for special occasions but I wanted to get a Chanel wallet on a chain because I knew this one I would be throwing around a lot more and one thing I found after having the caviar as well as the lambskin the caviar is so much more durable I've had this a year there's little to no wear and tear. We will go over that. And I just highly recommend it because you're constantly throwing this bag around. For example, it's great when I travel, I throw it in my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. You can wear it as a crossbody. You can wear it as a shoulder bag, so many different ways. And it's just great. And another really cool thing about this bag that I've noticed is it is a really, really pliable bag. So I have noticed the longer that I have it, it does tend to expand a little bit, which is great because you can fit a lot more. Okay. So let me just kind of show you the bag in case you've never seen it while on a chain that way you can kind of get an idea of all the features. So again, I do have it in the caviar, but you can opt to get this in the caviar or the lambskin. Um, the lambskin is definitely more delicate and I have it in the champagne hardware. You can see it has the little pocket on the back where there's not really much room, but if you want, you can put credit card, put your ID. Okay. And the way that my Chanel works, it has this button closure. Um, if I could recommend you, I think the newer versions have the magnetic closure and I like that a lot better because this one, you have to really find the hole and press into it. So if there's nothing in the bag, it's a lot harder to close. Okay. So you open it and then it has this really, really nifty feature. So it unzips and your hand goes all the way down. So unlike the Chanel classic flap where it just goes up this way, this goes all the way down. So it's a really nifty feature. Um, it opens, it has three credit card slots on this side and three credit card slots on this side. It has a zip compartment and then it has this little nifty flap here. So this is a small bag. However, it definitely packs a punch and can fit quite a bit. So the first thing I want to cover is the durability of this bag. Like I said, if I could recommend, of course I feel the lambskin looks so beautiful in a Chanel bag, but if you are on the hunt for a while on a chain, I would highly recommend getting it in the caviar. I have thrown this thing around and there's little to no wear and tear on it. So let's first go ahead ahead and look at it. Okay. So I've had it for a year. So let's talk about the leather. The one thing I feel like the leather is in great condition for having it a year. The one thing I would tell you about it is I've noticed that it is expanded a little bit. The leather is extremely pliable. It stretches. So you can fit quite a bit. So the leather looks beautiful. You can see the interior looks really nice. The only thing on the inside, you can see the beautiful burgundy fabric. There are some little scuff marks here and there from like putting my cards in and out. So one thing that I would recommend if you're going to get one of these, they do make bag organizers and believe it or not, I have never used a bag organizer, but I feel like I'm definitely on the hunt for a good one. So if you guys know of a really good bag organizer, let me know down below because I think I would recommend that because it stretches your bag out a little bit and it keeps the interior of the bag from getting dirty. So you can really preserve it in the event you want to sell the bag in the future. 
let's talk about the chain so this is a beautiful durable chain with leather going through it I don't have any marks here um, the only thing that I would say so the in inside is a little scuffed up I would be careful so this little spot right here the zipper if you do keep it like this and then you close it it can tend to have a little indentation here so make sure that you turn the zipper to the inside when you close it so there's not a mark but other than that you can see I've had this bag for a year I feel like it is in amazing condition you guys so good um also the corners let me give you an up close of the corners they look great you can see the side has this little accordion style so it does stretch i'm telling you this bag looks little but it definitely can fit a lot and it is so functional i took this to vegas and this was the main bag that i used i mean of course my travel bag was a louis vuitton never full but i threw this in there it was so cute and compact but i had everything in here that i needed and i will show you later in the video when we do that what's in my bag part so let's talk about why this bag is so great and versatile i love that you can wear it so many different ways first off if you want you can take the chain now keep in mind the chain is not removable but you can take the chain and you can tuck it in to the bag you can close it and it becomes a little clutch which is perfect if you're going on a special occasion like a wedding just really nice and chic if you don't want to wear it that way you can see the chain is rather long. You can wear it as a long shoulder bag. Now I am 5'3 and it does fit, um, hit me pretty low. So keep that in mind. If you don't wanna wear it that way, one nifty thing you can do is you can take the chain, put it this way, take the other one this way, and you can make it um, a shorter long shoulder bag there are so many different things to do you can knot it if you want to make it shorter but i love that you can wear it as a clutch you can wear it as a long crossbody you can wear it as a long shoulder and you can also shorten it to wear it as a shorter shoulder bag so that's the thing about the beauty of this bag it's so versatile you can wear it in so many different ways now i want to kind of switch the camera and i want to show you what fits in the bag Okay, so here is my Chanel bag, and I want to show you what fits or what I, how I normally carry it. So here is the bag. I normally wear it as a crossbody. Here it is empty. So the one thing I love, I love this little nifty pocket right here. So I have the iPhone um, XR, and I love this little pocket because I normally put it right there which is great and you can see it still closes but if you don't want to put it in the front pocket you can certainly put it here but I like to leave this space open so a lot of times what I do is I'll have my phone here and then this little zip pocket here is great because a lot of times this is where I keep my change I love putting my cash in this section because it has the bills laid out. You can also put change here. But like I said, if you don't want to put your phone there, you can take it out and you can just put it in here. I have kind of done both. But let's just put it in here and then we'll move it around later. So I keep my cash here. I keep this here in the back. So I keep some cards and I'm just, I can fit three on each side. You can double up as well. But the thing I love about this is how easily the cards slip out. You see that? They slip out so easily. I mean, how some, with some fabric, especially like the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet, it can be very difficult to get things out, but not here. I just love the way it slides out. So I keep major credit cards here. I keep my cash here and I keep my phone here. And then what I do is I have my clay and I can put some gift cards in there or, you know, some more cash, um, credit cards. Um, and then a lot of times I'll have a little lip gloss. This is my Dior lip gloss. So really, if you think about it, that's all you really need. You could probably fit like a little hand sanitizer there, but then you can close it and you can see it's pretty well stuffed with those items all right so this is how I normally carry it right because that's all I pretty much need so let's take some of these items out and let's kind of switch it around to see what else can fit based on some other popular items 
So I'm gonna take the lip gloss out. I'm gonna take the clay out. I'm gonna take my phone out. I'm gonna leave the cards in here for now. I'm gonna leave the cash. But one other nifty thing is if you want, because this pocket goes all the way down to the bottom, and if you ever wanna carry like larger bills, you can keep these in here since it does sink all the way down. All right, so let's try a card holder. Here is a YSL card holder. That fits in there very nicely, as you can see. Um, let's also use my six ring key holder. I love this key holder. So you can also, let's see, you can put the six ring key holder vertical or you can also put it horizontal and it'll fit nicely. Let's go ahead and put the lip gloss back in. You can put it in the back so you can see we have the cash up here. We have the card holder here, six ring key holder, some more cards, um, lip gloss. So that fits nicely. Um, if I were to put my phone in here now, it would be, it actually would fit, but that kind of really, really, really expands it and stuffs it. So I wouldn't recommend doing that because you don't want to stretch it too much. So if you did want to put your phone in here, I would recommend taking one of these out or maybe using the clay because it's a little thinner than the key holder. Okay, so let's move it around a little more. Another thing you can do is take your phone, you can put it in this large pocket here, take a card holder, you know, and then have your lipstick in here. So you can see this is just a great bag because it really fits all of your essentials. And if you wanted to add a hand sanitizer, you could. And also if you had an organizer, that would make it really nice as well. So I love, love this bag and I love that it can fit so much more than you would think. Okay, now that I talked about what fits in the bag, I wanna go over really quickly all the positives, negatives, and what I recommend this bag to you the positives of the bag. It is so incredibly versatile. I love how you can wear it so many different ways. The bag is perfect for travel. Whenever I go to Vegas, I just throw this in my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I wear it as a crossbody. My hands are free. It has, still has everything in here that I need. The bag is so durable. So if I would recommend the wallet on a chain, I would definitely say get it in the caviar leather because the caviar leather is very pliable. I don't have to really worry about being careful with it. With my Chanel medium lambskin if I have a chip in my nail I have to be careful because I'll scratch it I have to be careful that my ring doesn't scratch it so definitely if you're gonna wear a bag more often like I wear this one more often than I do my Chanel medium I am so happy that I opted for the caviar leather so it fits all your essentials it's very very versatile it's very durable the wear and tear I'm telling you is very very minimal as you guys know there is a price increase every year sometimes they do it every six months so the great thing about a Chanel, Chanel bag is if you do invest the money, um, the resale value is great. Most of the time, if you take really good care of your Chanel bag, you're going to be able to get your money back or even make a little money because these are definitely investment pieces. So if I were to get go with the Chanel wallet and a chain, not only would I get the caviar leather, but I would also, one thing I don't like about this one, and I mentioned it a little bit before, is the button closure. I would highly recommend if you can either get the turn lock closure because I feel like that looks chic or the magnetic closure. I feel like that'd be a lot easier whereas this one it's a lot easier to close once the bag is full. So that's what I would recommend and then you also want to be very careful of this zipper when you do close it. Make sure that the zipper is tucked in like this so that you don't have an indentation here. So would I recommend this bag? Absolutely. I love it. I think it's great for all the reasons I stated before. Um, Chanel bags are definitely investment pieces, but I definitely think that they're worth it, especially if you're a handbag lover like me. They're just classics to have in your collection. So I hope this helped you guys if you're on the hunt. I know a lot of people um, reached out to me asking me to do a what fits in the bag, so I thought I would take it one step further to kind of do a brief little review for you as well. So hopefully this helped. Chanel bags are very difficult to get, especially in the caviar leather so I will try to find some on the pre-love market um, fashion file has a lot of great pre-loved items and I'll also try to find some of the items that I mentioned I'll try to link those down below as well so if you like these type of videos make sure to hit that like button and if you are new to my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button I'd love to have you guys join my little YouTube family have a wonderful day you guys and I will see you in my next video Wish me the best of luck.